And I'm just having my fried bake with a fried egg and some bacon. Normally, you know, we have it with a fried shark or We're starting with our fried bake this morning, this afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> I have some flour in here. Normally, I will hold back like maybe half of the flour. We're going to add our butter. We're going to add our sugar. Salt. Baking powder. Stack these up. And we're going to just combine everything together. The butter could be um, room temperature butter. We're going to start adding our water. Once everything's combined, start adding our water very slow. This is um, room temperature water. Make a well in the middle. And you start pouring and stirring. Stir as you pour. Stir as you pour. You're looking for a very sticky dough at first. Bring everything. Once you get everything combined, we're going to start adding the rest of the flour. If you notice, all I'm doing is mixing. I'm not kneading, I'm just mixing. You want to add the balance of the flour. Just bring everything together. Now you combine. Just go out of roll and squeeze. Do look a little shaggy. So right now it's a little too sticky, so I'm gonna add one tablespoon of flour around it. And bring everything back together. Make sure you get all the dry flour in, you incorporate everything. And you can clean out the sides of your bowl. Get everything into the flour. And right now, I'm gonna squeeze and roll, squeeze and roll. So now we're gonna add some olive oil on the top. Use whatever oil you have. And we're gonna let this dough sit for about 10 minutes and we're gonna come back and give it a second knead. And cover it with a damp um, paper towel, plastic wrap, or anything damp. Okay, so I'm back. Let me remove the damp towel. This is what our dough looks like now. What you're gonna do now, you just wanna have your, put your hands, your fingers in a little bit of flour, like that. And you're just gonna dust it around, and you're gonna flip. And now you're gonna start to give it a little knead. If you think you need to add additional flour for dusting, feel free, but not a lot. I need it. If you don't like the kneading method, you can do the roll method. Spin and roll like this. And just put some flour on the bottom. My flour is done. Squeeze and roll, squeeze and roll. Squeeze and roll. Okay, so. Now we're just gonna let it sit now for another, maybe another, um, another half, maybe 15 minutes, but half an hour, we don't need half an hour. Then we're gonna come and make our fried egg. 
That's it. I'm gonna cover it again. Okay, so we're now gonna make our balls for fry bake by removing the towel, <laughs> taking our dough out. We're gonna flour our board like so. And I'm gonna make some medium size. One, I'm gonna make four. Get four. And the other one, I'm gonna do three. What are we doing now? Just can hold it. Let's put it like that. Make something quick and rough, nothing fancy. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, boom. I'll do the same. Flow. If you want, you can hold it like that. You can just bring everything, pull all the sides down. That and you're done. You continue doing it with the rest of the dough. Are we gonna get ready to make our um fry bake? Actually, fry it. So now we're gonna start just a little flour. Put this this way so I have space for rolling. Don't make it too big. is perfect. This does. I'll just put these up here so I have space for that. Perfect. You don't need to roll it out too much. The size is perfect. Here, I guess I can only get two in there. Make that one. So make sure your board is flowered so it's not gonna stick. Now what I will normally do, you can sprinkle some flour on these and put the other one, but. I have some wax paper, so I'm just going to separate it with the wax paper, like so. So it's not going to stick. But if you don't have wax paper, you can just dust it with some flour. Or you can just fry as you go. But I want to have all rolled out, so when I start frying, I'm just frying. big one. I think this is the one I'm going to eat. <laughs> okay, let me just pull this over. Put this in here. That's it. So we're getting ready to fry. I'm just going to remove the wax paper and take from the bottom. Because these were the first rolled out. So these rested. I have some extra flour, so I'm just going to dust that flour out. The oil should be nice and hot. Yep, there it is. So it's nice and puffing. And if you need, if you want help, you can just pour some oil on the top. You get a nice rise. Not supposed to crowd the pan, but I want to make my big one. Okay, I'm gonna shut it a big one right in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get it a little brown, more brown, and it's good to go. This one is ready to come out. Take this one out. 
get this one. Get this one out. Okay, we're gonna try something here. We're gonna try something right now. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna start chopping. Perfect. You're starting to pop. I'm going to just want to flip. Oh, different shape. Look at the center. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. I'm going to flip it over again. I'm forgetting about this one. I want this one a little darker. I'm going to flip this one. See, once you put it in and once it starts rising you flip it it prevents it from popping on the top so this one this one has no pop that puts me on um, prevents it <laughs> this is our fried egg and this is the fried egg I'm just having my fried bake with a fried egg and some bacon. Normally, you know, we have it with a uh, fried shark or saltfish, sardines, corned beef, whatever you want. But I'm just having, going simple today, some bacon and a fried egg. 